Welcome. In front of me is a Redmi Note 10 Pro, and today I'll show you how to transfer files from your phone to an SD card or vice versa. And to get started, you will want to open up the file manager application, which is right here for me. Once you open that up, let's agree and continue and allow access to storage. And from here, you're gonna go to the uh, folder category, as you can see. And by default, we'll stick to the internal shared storage, which is the storage of the device itself. But you can also tap on the tiny little arrow and access the SD card from here. Now, anyway, uh, as you can see, we have a bunch of different folders right here, uh, but being honest, there's only like two or three folders that are important for majority of us. So uh, those would be the folders that mm, the phone saves to uh, by itself. And that is DCIM, which will contain uh, screenshots, pictures, videos, screen recordings, uh, anything that have uh, captured with the device. It's gonna get saved to here. Then if we go into downloads folder, uh, this folder will contain, uh, well, obviously anything that you have downloaded through either web browser or emails or whatever you have downloaded, it will go to here. And uh, honestly, that's about it. Usually there's also a uh, pictures folder, but because screenshots are being saved to DCIM folder, it will be empty. Now, I'll also go to the SD card, so you can see that SD card has virtually the same folder structure as, uh, as the internal storage, with the difference of, uh, for instance, the CIM folder being completely empty because the device didn't save anything to it. So anyway, uh, let's find our files, which I'm going to be using screenshots as an example. I have a couple right here. So once you find your files, what you want to do is select them, and if you have the file itself, what you can do is simply tap on that little circle and this will automatically select it. You can also select more than one. You can also select the entire folder. So if I go back, as you can see, there's the folder along with five screenshots in it. So as you can see, there is no circle right here to select. So to select a folder, what you want to do is simply hold it and this will do the same thing. Now, once you have your files selected, uh, however way you want to select them, you have two options. You can either move them, which is right here, the option, or by tapping more, you have also option to copy them. If you choose to copy, you will create duplicate files. So one will stay where it is right now and new ones will be added to a new location. While move will completely cut them from where they are right now and move them to the new location. So I'm gonna go with uh, move. And once you select one of the two options, it will bring up this uh, panel right here so you can move them somewhere else on the internal storage or move them to a completely different storage like SD card which is what I'm going to stick with and from here either navigate to a folder that you want to drop those uh, files to or you can just move it straight to here so I'm going to drop it right here and there we go so as you can see there's the screenshots folder now at the bottom along with the five screenshots that were inside of it and if I were to go back to the to the internal storage the DCIM folder as you can see it is now empty so that being said this is how you could move any kind of file from one location to another and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching